Okay, brilliant. Uh, we have another question um, that came a little while ago from our friend Trevor Barry, uh, based from Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, he said, what's the oddest bass that you've been asked to make? Um, and a similar question as well uh, from Casey was, what's the most technically challenging bass? So, oddest and technically challenging. I think Trevor's bass itself <laughs> <laughs> was probably up there. It was, it was the... Uh, we we have kind of mixed re agreements to do with relic bases, don't we? Um, we do. Well, actually, so. Trevor's been been um, challenging on several fronts. I mean, the, the first one we made for him, he does like things that are quite sparkly, and um, we we made a base that um, had block inlays but LEDs under the block inlays, so it, it kind of lit up like a like an air, aircraft. Yeah. Runway, yeah, so um, it's just the uh, the relic in itself. It's something we don't do, it's no, something we don't offer. But and there's a lot of badly done relicking out there. You know, I mean, my feeling is that they get bashed about quickly enough as it is. You know, we try to send them out perfect. But one of one of Trevor's was. Yeah, was, was, was I, I enjoyed was, it. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, in, in sort of going back through the the annals of time, if you see, I mean, um, we. Uh, I remember ha being asked to make a, a, a base that looked like a cloud, <laughs> so it, it had sort of cloud-like body shape um, with sort of blue and, 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 and white puffy uh, spray job done on it. Um, I'm not sure, I can't quite remember the reason for that, but, but <laughs> I do remember we did it. Um, we made a, um, a, a base, uh, no sorry, a guitar, and this was actually for another company. Um, we made a guitar that was shaped like the United States and then had the, the American flab draped over it. And this was for actually for a large American company that you would know the name of, um, who needed it for an exhibition but didn't have time to make it. So they asked us to do it and then we ended up making two or three of them. I've seen the prop. Is, is oh yes, here we are. This is, this is, this is a good few years ago. So I think the neck would have been... There. there, that's right. Yeah. That, that's that was the um, that was the shape of the guitar. Um, so, is this the jig that was used? Well, it was a pattern that the jigs were made from, um, so and we uh, yeah, and we had a, a, another Neil, not our current Neil, but another Neil who used to do um, airbrush spray jobs for us, and he did make a wonderful job of yeah. that. Um, and um, other odd instruments, we made a guitar. Uh, actually, rather than the bass, we used to make guitars as well. We still do occasionally. Um, for um, a, a young lady who um, was very keen on pink, um, but not in the sort of um, um, cutie sort of way. It was it was quite sort of post punk, if you see what I mean. So she had pink hair and pink everything else, and she wanted a really, really, really pink instrument. And we sprayed it using the paint that they use for helicopter helicopter landing pads <laughs> on the, in the North Sea, which was really really bright pink, but also um, day glow, um, and that was quite a um, an interesting instrument. Um, as far as technically challenging, I think one of them was that eight string that we built, wasn't it? Yeah, what we were calling the sub contrabass. I think it was an eight string. It was. 38 inch scale 38 inch scale and the low B string was an octave below a normal low B string so a normal low B which is 30 hertz so this would be no, I have no idea I don't know it, sort it of involved... 10, I mean it was almost like riot control yeah. um, he had to have special speakers made <laughs> as well as special strings yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was that was an interesting challenging but you can the guy we originally made it for was actually a bassoon player, mm -hmm. um, um, a classical bassoon player, I think for one of the big Manchester orchestras. Mm -hmm. um, he sold it to um, uh, another customer of ours who has had seven strings off us before and is a great solo bass player um, called Roger Gardner. And hello, Roger, if you're out there. Um, and there is quite an interesting little video on, on, on YouTube of Roger playing this um, eight string, um, which he bought from the original, um, the, the person who originally we built it for. Um, so that was quite an interesting mm, one. Nice. Um, what other interesting things have we done in recent years? I don't know, actually at the moment, actually, the um, we're doing a butterscotch. We've not really done a lot of butterscotch bases 
So at the moment we're working on a butterscotch jazz base that has a flame maple top underneath the butterscotch and that's having bird's eye maple, it's having mother of pearl blocks yeah, this, and this purloin is, binding. Yeah, this this one, everything. this is, I dare I say it, sorry, <laughs> there's a little bit of bling going on in this yeah, one yeah, yeah. Um, and it's just, I, I want something that's really going to stand out. So we get things like that. We did the um, the chakra base, which was quite. I mean, that was a really interesting uh, spray job that Neil did, where it was the um, uh, the Buddhist chakra yeah. um, colours, um, which is a fade. I mean, lot quite a lot of people do the fades, where where the the, the, the um, um, colour starts a, 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 instead of a burst going round, it goes across the um, uh, the the. the um, the body um, but this was a series of very specific colors almost like a rainbow um, oh yes here we are this this is this was one of the many test pieces um, on, a, on a scrap piece of um, there's another version on the other side um, but as I say that was a very early um, example of it um, but so things like you know interesting if you have a look on our um, website and Facebook page then there's there's some photographs of some of these what is that? That's poplar, isn't it? That's pearl poplar, yeah. It, I mean, it's with that sort of finish, you need a striking grain underneath. I mean, this was obviously a piece that's full of woodworm and things, which is why it was used for testing rather than actually making anything. But yeah, we do get some, some interesting, weird and wonderful. I mean, we're making... A